this week on Weekly Weeb. Jujutsu Kaisen prequel movie announced. Shoku Tensei anime will be getting a continuation this year. My Hero Academia manga enters its final act. And more anime news so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Good morning anime world, my name is Gun Chan, and this is Weekly Weeb, your number one source for anything weeb related. Jujutsu Kaisen fans are rejoicing after the final episode of the anime was aired as there was an announcement made right after that a movie will air this winter to theaters titled Jujutsu Kaisen Zero The Movie. The movie is canon and is a prequel story made by the same author, Gege Akutami. For those who don't want to be spoiled off the synopsis, skip to this time. Jujutsu Kaisen Zero's story will be about Yuta Akatsu, a nervous high school student who is suffering from a serious problem. His childhood friend Rika has turned into a curse and won't leave him alone. Since Rika is no ordinary curse, his plight is noticed by Satoru Gojo, a teacher at Jujutsu High at a school where fledgling exorcists learn how to combat curses. Gojo convinces Yuta to enroll though it is still up in the air if he'll learn enough in time to confront the curse that haunts him. I personally haven't read the manga yet but everyone is saying that this is important since there is a reveal that happened in the Jujutsu Kaisen manga which is connected to the events of the prequel. That is announced for this winter but there is no exact date announced yet. For some chibi news. Netflix announced that it will launch 40 new anime titles for this year at Anime Japan Expo 2021. A few of those animes that were already set for release are Yasuke, Resident Evil Infinite Darkness, The Way of the House Husband, and Record of Ragnarok. Netflix's chief anime producer told Bloomberg during an interview that they want to be able to pride themselves as being the top entertainment destination with good quality content. To add to that, he said that their business is directly connected to the growth of the anime they produce. Almost everyone is using Netflix as their main entertainment streaming site so it is a great news for people wanting to start anime and also with the longtime anime fans. Let's just hope that the cracking of Netflix password sharing report that was mentioned a few weeks ago won't go to effect as that would be such a turnoff to all the subscribers of Netflix. Attack on Titan collaborated with Mercedes-Benz to create three Attack on Titan theme cars and will be available to visit until April 25 at Mercedes-Benz tours in Tokyo and Osaka. The cars are wrapped with manga panels showcasing some of the series' most iconic moments. The stores where the cars are will also include life-size Levi cutouts, themed food and drinks, and goodies from Mercedes-Benz. These cars are not meant for sale and will be used to honor the manga's finale. Going over some announcements. The comedy slice of life anime titled Eurocamp was announced that a new game project is under production for this anime. The game will be developed and published by Magus, mostly known for their visual novel game works such as Steins Gate and Corpse Party. Sci-Fi Shonen anime Dr. Stone announced that a sequel has been green lit at the end of its final episode. No date announced yet. Romance comedy anime Science Fell in Love So I Tried to Prove It got a season 2 announcement scheduled for 2022. Romance manga One Week Friends will be getting a sequel manga titled One Week Friends afterwards on April 22. Author of Ao Chan Can't Study Manga Ren Kawahara will be launching a new manga on April 22 titled Uchi wa Hanarete Kurashiteru or in English, I'm moving out. Author of Denpa Kyoshi Takeshi Azuma announced on Twitter that he is launching his new manga titled Isekai Chef to Saikyo Boshoku Hime or in English, The Other World Chef and the Strongest Princess of Gluttony on April 1. Comedy seinen manga Non Non Biori is getting a new manga spin-off titled Non Non Biori Remember. No date announced yet. Original music anime project titled Tact Op was announced by Bandai Namco Arts and DNA last Friday. No date announced yet. Original slice of life anime Do It Yourself got announced by anime studio Pine Jam and is in production. No date announced yet. Action drama manga Yoroshiro Trunk will end in the third volume which was revealed on March 10. 
Ecchi comedy manga La 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 will end its serialization on May 21. School sports manga Iwa Kakeru Try a New Climbing ends in its sixth volume on May 28. Ecchi fantasy manga Does a Hot Elf Live Next Door to You ended in its 17th issue of Kodansha's Young Magazine last Monday. Comedy shounen manga I'm the Cat Lord's Manservant will end in the Square Enix's G Fantasy Magazine's next issue in April. Back to the headlines. The best isekai anime, Mushoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation, is confirmed for a second curve. Episode 11 of the anime aired last week and announced part 2 as mentioned though there are no more details provided. Mushoku Tensei will be a long running anime but will have some breaks in betweens which is a great decision since it will help with keeping the anime's quality at its best and that practice has already been kept up by other animes as well, such as ReZero. The completed light novel series of the same name which ran from 2012 to 2015 consists 24 volumes and with that many, we will be getting more than 5 cores or seasons as long as there would be no issues with the production. Mushoku Tensei's second part is reported to air this year but no exact date announced yet. For the final news, the My Hero Academia manga enters its final act. The title of the manga chapter last week is the final act begins. Note that I won't be spoiling anything manga related. There are a few speculations on what will happen in the future of this manga, but one of the most popular rumors is that it'll be getting a sequel manga either in Shonen Jump or be transferred to a different Jump magazine after the final arc. The season 5 of the anime that airs this spring will most likely cover two arcs, though the second arc is a long one, so we would be expecting this current manga arc to be animated at around season 7. This is a great time for people who stopped watching My Hero Academia to hop back in because of the low stakes and uninteresting arcs from previous seasons, since the author will be delving more into the main plot and interesting character developments not with just the heroes but also the villains. That's it for this week's Weekly Weeb. Leave a like if you like this video, dislike if otherwise. Let me know what you think of this week's news in the comments below. This is your news anchor, Gen Chan, signing off.